Yeah, Martin Riggs beat the show, John McClain. Final answer. Cody wants to know shot procedures from outside the room versus inside the room. I don't know what that means. Um, if you mean like panning from an open door taking shots or vice I've made entry and then we're taking shots, it's the same thing, dude. And if you're talking about the reality of it, I know everybody wants to say like body, body, head or three to the body, two to the face, whatever your shot sequence is. I mean, that's what you train to, but the reality of it is, is that you're going to do three quarters of mag dump. You're going to just shoot that person until they fall and they stop moving. That's what you're going to have to do. And the whole body, body, head thing, like that's nice if, if it works. And I say that most of the time because they're not in a position where they're going to stand stationary. By the time you present a gun, they most likely they, they start to move. So to get that perfect body, body, move up eight inches and smack them under the nose. That's, yeah. That's what you hope happens. But yeah, for me, there's no real difference, man. Just shoot them until they're done. Like, aim for a uh, sternum. Pound them out. If you can move the head, great. If not, just shoot them until they're done. But inside the room, outside the room, doesn't really matter. Whatever. I'd say inside the room, depending on what type of CQB you're doing and what kind of operation that really is, if there is a, if there is a delay in your processing speed, meaning you kind of got caught in the, now with your pants down, but kind of, like you weren't anticipating a person to be there. Now there is a person there. That shot sequence looks very different. It sounds very different too. And you can hear it on, um, you can hear it on, <sighs> shit, what are they? The fucking button cams cops were. Mm -hmm. You can, you can hear it. You can see it on there. Ukraine has a shit ton of it, dude. Like, and you just, if you watch any of the videos from Ukraine, that trench warfare where they turn a blind corner and there's a dude right there with an AK, that's that's what it looks like. It's just boom, 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 boom. as many shots you can mm -hmm. get off to try to kill that fucking dude before he gets off one on you. We had a discussion about how at that range you're pointing and shooting. You're not lining up your sights because it's so close range. Remember that one video? Yeah. Like they just like right around a corner in a trench. Well, like, that's what it is. Like, that's the angles versus distance. If you mm -hmm. don't have the angle, you don't have the distance. It's a 50-50 gunfight, man. You have to go real fast. And if you watch those dudes, they're not getting a cheek low. There's no optic. There's no picking up a second sight picture. Like, you were just throwing that thing up is as good of a reference as you can get it, and you're squeezing that trigger as fast as you can. That's just it. And I think that's, I mean, obviously it's real. Obviously it's realistic. That's, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like for real. And for all the guys that really want to know, that's what it looks like. Inside of six deep, make a funny face and you go boom, 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 as fast as you can. Yeah, it's about as real, about as, real as it gets. Yeah, it's a question about um, distance between two people in a gunfight. Do people still miss at that range? Oh, yeah. Like six feet, eight feet? The dude that... Shit, man, ten feet? That dude in Iraq that fucking plugged me in a chest plate. Closer from me to you. No shit. Six rounds off. He shot six rounds? Oh, I mean, five or six, yeah. No shit. Oh, that's the one that hit, hit your mag, didn't it? Yeah, it hit me in the chest. Yeah. No. That's insane. I mean, he fucked close. 